On Wednesday of last week, I published a video about how difficult it is to perfectly predict the first round of March Madness, and I noted how in 2019, 17.2 million brackets were submitted to ESPN.com, yet only 9 out of those 17.2 million stayed perfect after the first round. Well, now that the first round is concluded, let's get an update on these stats. This year, 14.7 million brackets were submitted to ESPN.com, and exactly zero of those brackets were perfect through the end of the first round. The biggest reason by far for this is that number 15 Oral Roberts upset number 2 Ohio State, and almost 14 million brackets, which was more than 95% of all the submissions, had picked number 2 Ohio State to beat 15 Oral Roberts. And this was a huge upset, because in the last video we talked about how historically the 15 seed has only a 5.7% chance of actually upsetting the number 2 seed. But honestly, there were a lot of upsets this March Madness, even without the number 15 and number 2 upset. On the left here, we can see the historical winning percentage of all the different seeds throughout 2019, and on the very right side, we can see the actual wins and losses that occurred for these teams. You can see that the 2, 3, and 5 seeds were each upset once, the 4 seed was upset twice, and then the 6 and 7 seeds were upset twice. Interestingly, the 8 and 9 seeded game, which we talked before about how despite being the lower seed, 9 is actually the favorite team, that game was upset 3 times because 8 won 3 times. Because of all these upsets, the historical winning percentage for the favored seed went down in every single matchup except for 2, the 1 versus 16 matchup in which the 1 seed won all 4 games, and the 5 versus 12 matchup where the 5 seed won 3 of the 4 games. All these upsets also decreased the historical odds that a region would be won by all of its favorite seeds, going from about 8% to about 7.65%, and subsequently this decreased the odds that every single region in round 1 would be won by the favorite seed, bringing it from about 0.004% to 0.0034%. And this is why it's so difficult to accurately predict the first round of March Madness. Thanks for watching.